Now also, to turn the light box. I don't want to see a community that, okay, I've seen people leave all of the goods of their stall at the public market is out in the open, just under tarps, these stalls made of wood, and they just walked off, left it all there. There was some security just kind of ambling about, and the entire downtown of the town all got fenced off, and there was five, seven stages of music all around the downtown. Dude, every, you know, everyone smashed. <laughs> um, no fights, no gunfire, no robberies. Like, I, I remember quite specifically that, he, not hearing anything. You never, crime was, crime in Eugene, Oregon once was, you got your bike taken, you know, somebody took, like, the mirrors or somebody took, like, one of the wheel uh, things for a splash guard. Um... You know, or something like that. But, like, they would take your light bulbs from your, your porch to smoke meth out of. That was, like, there was even joke images. Like, like Whitaker, and it would have a light bulb. And, and, and everybody knew what the joke was. And, uh... But there was just no... I mean, the idea that somebody would be, like, shot or stabbed or something here. That's just... That was just not normal in any way only within a handful of years ago and then when I see like unicorn riot or one of them when they're rioting here and like trying to destroy the five guys or the Verizon store next to it um <laughs> in a city that is so oh so racist that Toots and the Maytals uh, always came here. If they if they were traveling up and down the West Coast, they every single time they made sure to stop here, and even said so on stage <laughs> because the crowd was so into them. And it's just it's just not, you know, it, yeah. And so now to see, oh my God, like now people are having like that. This is now like people. I'm seeing people who it's like I you know their kids are adults now, you know. And, uh, just to know, like, I know I would see guys crack up, but, like, to know that now this is, like, paralyzing the West Coast, and, and that no one's taking this seriously, and they just want to kind of, oh, oh, they're so mental, oh, the mental, oh, what are we going to do, what are they going to do, oh, you know, somebody, somebody must have money, you know, and it's like, no, you're going to have to actually do actions. <laughs> and mo and these aren't going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. It's every, every possible action, it won't be the three letters F-U-N. <laughs> it won't be fun. You will not be funning. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard choices and actions based on hard choices. And that are going to be emotionally tough to, to handle. But it's just, there's no way around it now. And, uh, and, and the West Coast, the blue enclaves are going to have to make some incredibly hard decisions. And they won't. I mean, let me just make it real easy. They won't. They won't make the, they, they, they w are going to be more than willing to let everything kind of fail. Until, like, they're, they're literally crying for order. You know, you're already starting to see normal people and, no, and uh, you know, normal Americana starting to do the thing of begging for order, really. Um, the GOP even um, is starting to do things that are showing they are figuring out we better, we better come with some order here. Um, you know, like Graham saying that no money goes to anyone until something is done about the border. And then now it's like, there's, you know, it's, you know you're going to have to impeach Mayorkas. You're going to have to impeach Biden about the border. There's no way around this. There's no way around it now. 
Um, this is their this is their fault. They're doing this on purpose. There's no way that they're not doing this on purpose. And uh, and that you know all these cities, these enclaves now are begging for order, and it's like, but it's yeah. So the uh, the mental it won't matter how mental. Reality doesn't care if you're mental. The reality, and a lot of liberals better get that now. Reality won't care that you're mental. And, uh, but it, it's also, I know, it doesn't matter. The hard choices won't be made until, uh, until things really fall apart. Until things are really, really, really bad. Um... Yeah, there, there's no way Kotech is going to suddenly make good decisions. Kotech's not built to make hard choices. You know, she's the defini- She's gay and lame. Put a chick in it, make her gay and lame. So, that's how that's going to be. And until, yeah, yeah, that's how that's going to be. There's not even until. We'll see how, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs>